All right, so I talked about omens before, but I wanted to talk about modern omens today. There are certain omen, you know, all the books on omens were written in medieval times, but now we have, you know, planet Earth in 2020. Some of these things are not going to relate as easily, some of them more so. So when it comes to Vedic astrology, it's all about life is always communicating to us. The answer to the question is there in the moment if we can only be aware enough and awake enough and perceive it, right? So when it comes to uh, asking a question to an astrologer, sometimes it's really complicated to look at the chart, all these detailed things, and then, you know, a raven might fly by in a certain way, and then that gives me the answer. So it's great to know about omens um, if you're sort of a intuitive, right brain type of astrologer. It can be very, very helpful in your practice. So again, omens are about life communicating, and this is all astrology is. It's the same principle. But the old books would talk about things in a certain way, and we might need to adapt them to the modern day. So one of these, one of the ways I like to think of it is, um, okay, so in the old days, when the king was going to war, he would, they would look, and they would look for vultures in front of them and, or behind the army. And if there were vultures appearing in front of the king's army, then that meant that the king was going to win the war because the vultures feed on the dead in front of you. If the vulture was behind you and you saw vultures picking on things and flying around behind you, that meant the king was going to lose the war or lose the battle. So is that really something we can interpret well nowadays or not? Well, honestly, I've actually found this to work really well. And vultures actually still tend to fly around interstates and roads, at least in the, Amer in the United States, because they'll always be, they're the only things that take care of the roadkill and things that get killed by the side of the road. So you can actually find that this can be the case too if you're going to some competition or if you're going to not necessarily a war, but say a skateboarding competition or a something where you need to contend against someone else. You're going to a court appearance and you see the vultures behind you, it's not looking good for you. You see them in front of you, it's looking good for you or your company. Another really funny way to interpret this is in the modern day world, at least in the United States, you see police sirens. So police sirens in front of you mean you're okay. Most likely it's your opponent that's going to be in danger as you go to this battle. Remember, omens only count for what you're thinking about at the moment. So if you just see police sirens, don't freak out. But if you're deeply and emotionally attached to an outcome of something and you're thinking about it and then you see the sirens, this is when you want to interpret this. So sirens in front of you, probably the opponent that's unsafe. Sirens behind you, you might be in trouble. And of course, when sirens are behind you, oftentimes you are the one getting pulled over, right? So this works pretty easily on a lot of different levels. This is an omen that I've worked with for years. Now, in India, it's very, you know, and sirens and ambulances are, uh, are a known omen thing in India, even in the modern day world. So that's also why I wanted to mention it. So say, you know, you're going to, you're about to go, um, go eat somewhere and then like a siren, an ambulance crosses by you, you might not want to go to that restaurant. It might not be good for you. Um, or say you're worried if you're sick with, with something with a virus and you're about to go to the doctor and you see an inauspicious alarm like that, you might not want to even go to that doctor. It might mean that you're going to get something worse as a result of that. Um, so this is kind of how we can use omens and, and everything. Um, so that's the same with fire trucks, ambulance, all kinds of sirens. Now another interesting one in the common day world, and y'all probably heard me talk about this when I'm doing videos, is text messages. How often I've had where I've had an important moment where I've been explaining something to someone in a reading, and then I'm not sure if they get the message, and then ding, I get a text message, and I know that they got the message, or I know that they understood it. And then, or even when I'm giving an MP3 recording, I won't hear back for a week what the feedback is. That ding usually ends up being correct. So uh, this, this same is true for all kinds of alarms going off, buzzers, um, bells, kitchen timers, things like that. Um, so then, then there's also um, kind of a, another, another one that's really common is like, um, when you are asking questions about like love or relationships, if you hear something like, uh, okay, you're asking if this 
is this guy going to like me? Does he really care about me? And then you off in the distance, I hear someone just like jackhammering at like a, you know, like an intersection. That's kind of like a common example that, um, that they give in the, the introductory Vedic astrology books, you know, it's like, okay, well the guy probably is only wanting you for like, however you want to interpret that. Right. Um, so always just think about like when you see an animal or a thing or a person, just what it what it logically kind of represents and what it logically would mean. Um, and then that's carry that into like your modern interpretation of it. And you'll usually find a good answer. Uh, one really common example of that is like lawnmowers and landscaping, because at least where I, you know, in, the, in America, uh, there's we just have so much space and we don't know what to do with it because we're all so spoiled here. So we just have these big lawns that we have to like mow and maintain all the time. Um, and, you know, don't get me started on that whole idea of, of lawns. It's just such a terrible idea just trying to keep up with the Joneses in England when in America, in a place like this, it doesn't even make sense to have a lawn. Um, kind of want shade in a forest in a subtropical area where I live down in the southern part of the U.S. But anywho, um, I'm getting sidetracked here. But basically lawnmowers. So if someone's asking, like, if someone wants something to last, is my relationship going to last? You hear a lawnmower, it's cutting. It's being cut away. You know what I mean? Or do I need to get this person out of my life? Do I need to cut this person out of my life? You hear a lawnmower crank up, that means you might need to cut them out of your life. Does that make sense? Or basically any kind of like sharp cutting omen is what a lawnmower um, can be very good for. Um, and then another thing is like, okay, in the same way it's like on the way to a battle, well, if you see like really good omens on the way to a job interview or a, or a big event, that's obviously going to be you know, a good sign. For example, there have been times when I've been on the way to go surfing and with surfing, you just never know how it's going to be. It could be like the most amazing experience of your life, or you could get, you know, break a bone or something, you know? And, um, there have been times when I would see like a, a Hansa, like a white, uh, heron or swan, you know, uh, the vehicle of Varuna, the god of, um, I'm sorry, not Varuna, um, Brahma. Anyways, you'd see like a beautiful Hansa or swan or a water-related bird. Um, it does have some relation to Varuna, I'm forgetting right now. But anyways, uh, you would see a water bird and then that would be indicating grace in the water, right? Because a swan moves so gracefully in the water. So if you see an, a symbol of nature, an animal moving gracefully through water, and you're about to go move through water, that's naturally a good sign, right? And of course, those would be the times that I had the most fun surfing. And then, um, likewise, if, you know, you're going to, uh, if you're wondering if you should end a video and then the crow, Saturn, endings, cause, you probably said enough. Goodbye, you guys. Take care.